Alright, hey, it's uh, it's been a while since I recorded and uploaded a video, so in today's video I just wanted to let you know uh, some stuff about Banshee. Uh, now I've actually never done one of these videos before, so this is new, uh, so if you want to see more of these, hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, comment down below if you want to see more of these. So uh, with this week, we're on the first day of the weekly reset, which is the 28th of September, we have the Cold Denial, the Trouble and Toil, the Ignoring Hunger, the Cortesian Coordinate, Fallen Guillotine, and the Outrageous Fortune. So, daily these rolls will change, so I want to let you guys know which rolls you should pick up. And yes, I have picked up a few of these myself, as you can tell by my low amount of legendary shards, which needs to put back up uh, for Friday because I'm, uh, I think, just guess definitely going to sell something I want this week and I won't be able to afford it, so uh, let's uh, hope we get those shards up. Anyway, so first off with the Outrageous Fortune, we have Snapshot and Genesis. Uh, really would be good, but it's just the snapshot, which you don't really need snapshot on a heavy grenade launcher, so I'd pass on the Outrageous Fortune, uh, for today anyway. For the Fallen Guillotine, I would actually get this, because, uh, it's not per perk, <coughs> the only perk that is missing is the Jagged Edge, uh, but other than that we get Falling Blade, Relentless Strike, Swordmaster's Guard, and uh, Tempered Edge, if you want to use that. So, if you do not have a perk for perk god roll on Fallen Guillotine, I'd suggest you pick this up. Cartesian's uh, Coordinate, uh, I'd suggest you pick this one up because, yes, it has Liquid Coils, it also has Feeding Frenzy and Fresh, which is one of my other god rolls on this weapon. Narang Hunger, I'd pass on this one. Uh, yes, it does have multi-kill clip, but I think the auto-loading holster just isn't that great on the weapon. Uh, Trouble and Toil, I would go for this one, uh, especially with its accurized and its tactical mag. And also having the full auto, which is good for any shotgun, and auto the holster, meaning that whenever you put this weapon away and use your primary or your heavy, it will just reload, which I think is great, especially since this weapon files for all, full auto. And the Cold Nile, I wouldn't suggest getting this one. Uh, you can if you want, but there is just so many better per combinations you can get. But uh, yeah, this is all from this short video. So uh, if you've enjoyed, uh, hit the like button. And uh, yeah, we're having out. Peace.